If you guys can hear me, because this is the first time I'm doing a live feed outside of my office, um, you know, let me know in the comments or something so I know that this is working properly. Thank you, Gifted Angel. I needed to know that. Thank you very, very much. I'm going to give it a couple of minutes because I'm a little bit ahead of schedule. I just needed to make sure everything was set up correctly. And then we'll get started. Tati Nicole Pina, how are you? I'm waving. <laughs> Erica Lampkin, how are you? Welcome to the show. Hope you have a lot of fun today. All right. Uh, Ro Smith has joined us. How you doing, Ro? Hope you're having a great day. Lakeisha Keys, Washington. How you doing? Lakeisha Keys, Washington. How you doing? Just so you know, I have um uh a camera in front of me which is coming off the iPhone uh, and then I have the iPad Pro next to me so there's a little bit of a delay but uh, I just wanted to make sure like I said uh, this is the first time I'm doing a live feed outside of my office I'm used to being at the office where we have all the you know the proper stuff you know to get you know set up the correct way so <clears throat> okay We got some really exciting stuff planned for you girls today. I'm going to go over that very, very shortly. We don't want to make his wait too long. It's a Sunday afternoon. I want you to enjoy the rest of the day with your family, of course. So we're going to give it a couple more minutes to get everybody, you know, on board. Be back in a second.
Okay, we're going to get started in about one more minute. So, um, let's see who's joined us in the past couple minutes. Uh -uh. All right, Katie Kinsey is watching. Carol Sims Brown. Carol, how are you? Pleasure to see you here. Tiffany Martin, she's um, my uh, one of my administrators in my in my group, Sublimation Central. Tiffany, it's great to see you here. Okay. Promise you, one more minute, we're going to get started. I hope everybody's having a great day today. So, uh, I'm excited to be here. I really am. It's the first time I've ever done uh, a Facebook Live or tutorial, whatever, in another group. So, all right. It is, I from what I can gather, 3 p.m., so I'm going to get started all right, so um, for those of you who don't know me uh, from talking to me on the phone, whatever, uh, my name is Peter Allen. I own Aces Deals. We are based here in New York. Um, I've been in the sublimation business probably about 18 years now. Um, I enjoy the, the business. Uh, we've been doing sublimation for 18 years, vinyl. Uh, for many, many years, probably 10. We've got four little warehouses nationwide, uh, you know, to service our customers, whether they're website customers or, or um, group customers. So, but I wanted to take this time, uh, before we get into the nitty gritty of everything, I wanted to thank um, Cecile um, and the other administrators of, um, of this group. Uh, to thank them for, you know, letting me do this uh, tutorial, this live feed uh, to the members here. Um, I am blown away by, by what I'm seeing in this group, uh, the, the, the creativity uh, between your group, my group, which is Sublimation Central. I, I'm seeing things that you are not seeing in any other Facebook group. And I'm going to tell you something right now, girls. I'm proud of you. I'm proud to be a fellow sublimator, a fellow vinylist, whatever you call it. Um, and I'm proud to be rubbing shoulders uh, with some really great, great, talented uh, people, um, women. <laughs> and uh, it, it's just incredible, and, and I'm proud to be a part of it. And so, um, like I was saying, my name is Prexity Zellen. I'm 57 years old. I have 10 children. Six grandchildren, it's hard to believe, you know, that I had the time to have children with all that I do, <laughs> but you got to love it. So, but um, for the group members, what we're going to be talking about today is the sublimation canvas that we have brought in, all right? This canvas material, uh, unlike a lot of the quote-unquote sublimational canvas out there, is... Um, a fantastic product. It really is. We have been very, very happy um, with the, um, you know, the results of the canvas. I'm going to be showing you some examples here. So we are going to be announcing a great promotion uh, for you girls in the group, all right, as a thank you uh, for your support um, and, and for everything. So uh, a lot of you have gotten the canvas already and hopefully you, you know, going to learn some tips and tricks from me today. You, I'm going to show you basically how you can make a canvas from start to finish. I'm talking about pressing it, you know, putting your image on it, pressing it, blah, 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 getting it onto a frame in basically about 15 minutes, all right? And with very, very simple tools. It's actually, you know, two tools you're going to need, okay? So um, without further ado, let's get going. And... Um, let me just see, uh, Cecile, she's she's here. Hello, Cecile. All right, I'm glad you made it. I have to put my glasses on because I'm blind as a bat. Uh, Shelly Marie Klein. Um, Atreva Wallace, hello from Washington State. Hello back from New York. Julie Norfield is watching. Julie, how are you? Robin uh, is here. Toyin Jones, hi Toyin. Thank you very much for allowing me to do this. Yolan Thomas, um, hi, how are you? Katie Kinsey. 
So, um, welcome, ladies, and I'm glad you're here. We're going to have some fun. Okay. We brought in Canvas approximately two months ago, Sublimational Canvas. And um, we brought it in in a, in a style that you don't see anywhere else. And we did this because I found it to be easier, not only for the group members, you know, this group, my group, um, my website customers, but we are now offering this sublimational canvas um, by the sheet, okay? Other companies sell it by the roll or by the, you know, um, uh, packaging, you know, 5, 10, 20 sheets in a package, whatever. And so I decided, um, you know, to offer it, you know, by the sheet, all right? I, I didn't want you girls spending a fortune on something you may or may not, you know, like. You know, plain and simple, plain and simple. So... All right. Uh, Rhonda Riley, Finney, how are you? Jasmine Serrero, Bubs, hey, welcome. And Helena Bell, welcome to the show. Okay, so what we did is, if you go to my website, www, and you're going to want to write some of this stuff down, www.acesdeals, A-C-E-S-D-E-A-L-S dot net. If you go to the search bar in the top right-hand corner of the website and just type in the word canvas, It'll bring you to the canvas, you click on it, and it opens up the page. And you'll see samples of the canvas, you know, printed and, and mounted on frames. And if you click in the drop-down menu, you'll see uh, the different sizes that are available. So, we're going to go over some of the sizes that are available. We have canvas. All right. Now, this is 100% polyester. Okay. I can crinkle it, do whatever I want to it, because I'm going to be pressing it to make it smooth and flat, five by seven. But what's really cool about this canvas material is you can sublimate on either side. There is no sitting there saying, oh my gosh, do I do this side or this side? Because you can't tell the difference because you know one side is supposed to be brighter, the other side is supposed to be duller. I like this canvas because it's nice and simple. It's easy for you girls. There is no thinking about it. You lay it on the press, you put your image on it, you press, okay? So like I was saying, we've got five by seven. We have eight by 10. The next size up is 11 by 14. The next size up is 16 by 20. Now keep in mind, if you needed a bigger piece of canvas or a custom piece of canvas, we can cut it for you. For custom, you're gonna have to contact us at the office, okay? That number, write this down, ladies, because this number is very important for you girls, especially if you're looking to get into sublimation, um, combine sublimation and vinyl together. We are here to assist you every step of the way. No, There is no pressure to buy something. I don't care where you buy from. My job, all right, is to help everyone grow, plain and simple. I love what I do. I love helping you. And I love talking to, you know, the members on the phone. I do it every day, 30, 40 people a day. Easy, okay? The number you can reach me at. Now, I'm open from Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard, so keep in mind the time zone, all right? On Saturdays from 10 to 4. I have to take a break on Saturdays. But I'm open, and you can reach me at 631-730-7222. If you need to call me toll free, I've got lots of members between, you know, the groups I'm involved in that are, let's say, in Canada, whatever, and it's hard for them to call that 631 number. I do have a toll free number. Write this down. 888-239-2644. Okay? So, all right. <clears throat> let's see who else is joining us. Er Erica! Erica Marrero! How are you, darling? <laughs> Good to see you here, too. Barbara Benjamin is here, okay? So, all right. So, we've got those different sizes of canvas, all right? Now, the important part when choosing the canvas you want to do, all right, is keeping in mind your frame. Here's what we, you know, I'm going to recommend to you as far as a frame is concerned, all right? We, I go to Michael's Crafts. You might want to try Joanne's, Hobby Lobby, whatever, but I'm going to refer to Michael's Crafts because that's where I go. And, you know, there's millions of Michael's Crafts all around, 
you know, the United States. So um, this should be able to help you, all right? When you go to Michael's, they have these canvas frames. It's a bundle pack. The one I'm holding in my hand is an eight-piece bundle pack. All right, and this one is nine by 12 inches long. All right, now these bundle packs contain a frame. Um, see if I have one out oh, there. They contain, you know, a frame that when you open it up, there's the back, you know, the wooden frame. The canvas is already on it. All right, I'm gonna touch base with you on that for a minute in a, in a minute, okay? So the other you wanna take a look at They've got the six piece bundle pack. Now this is a 12 by 16, okay? So there's six pieces in there. My favorite, here's the five piece bundle pack, 16 by 20 frame. Like I said, there's the wooden back and it's covered with the canvas. Now these bundles are sold by Michaels. Um, you know, to those crafters out there that are painting on the canvas, okay? That's fine and dandy. I love it, all right? Here's what we did. When you go to apply our canvas to the frame, I'm going to be really honest with you. Let's say you were a retail customer and you sent me a picture of your granddaughter and we sublimated it onto the sublimation canvas, all right? When you got the frame in the mail, you would never know that your picture was on top of this piece of canvas, okay? I don't remove this canvas. I'm not gonna sit there and remove or have my technicians remove these staples that were put in at the factory, wherever these were made, all right? So we go right over it. It does not affect the print, you know, our print, your print, whatever. It doesn't make the frame weigh a ton. It doesn't matter, people don't even know that second frame is there, all right? I did a frame, it was a comic book cover for Cecile. I sent it to her. If she was to cut the comic book, you know, uh, picture we did for her, she would see the canvas behind that picture, all right? So we leave the canvas on the frame. That's one less thing you have to do. I'll be honest with you, the very first time I bought this, I sat there at my workbench and I was removing these staples. It took about 15 minutes just to remove the canvas. And I said, what the heck? I just go right over it, okay? So keep that in mind. Check out the bundles. Those 9x12s, the 16x20s that I just showed you, they're around $19.99. Last week, because I'm a member of Michael's, you know, on the app and everything else and emails, you know, I'm sure you are too. Girls, look for those coupons. Utilize the hell out of them. Because when I went to Michael's that specific day to pick up the frames, I went there for one reason. They were doing a one-day promotion where the 9 by 12, the 16 by 20, and I forgot the other size, size, I'm sorry, I think it was 11 by 14. Those five, six pack of frames, instead of $19.99, they were across the board $10. I spent $300 and bought $300 worth of assorted size frames, Okay. So, why did I do that? Because I do a lot of retail on the website. You know, there's Mrs. Johnson from Spokane, uh, Spokane Washington that's ordering a, a canvas print for her daughter-in-law's, you know, uh, wedding anniversary, whatever, and they're buying it retail. So, why not? Why not? So, if you girls are looking to, to make a profit, that's the way to do it, all right? Get the frames in the bundle packs from Michael's, utilize the heck out of the coupons, all right, and make yourself, you know, extra profit with no extra work, okay? So, all right, the most important part about um, picking the correct canvas size, that's where, you know, this is where it gets tricky comes in, all right? Let's pick the 16 by 20 canvas sheet that we sell on our website. You buy a 16 by 20 sheet, it's not going to fit on a 16 by 20 frame, all right? And, and let, me, let me explain to you why. The 16 by 20 canvas will fit on the front of the frame, but you will not have the ability to bring the, the canvas around the frame 
and then to the back of it so you can staple, all right? So, whether or not you're using a Michaels frame or a frame you have at home, you know, maybe it's an old painting and the, and the, and the, and the portrait is no longer any good, so you want to cover it with canvas. What you want to do is, here, I'm going to use a little frame right here, all right? Now, this frame I picked up at Dollar Tree. This is a, a wooden frame, really a nice frame, all right? The picture sits in the back, and then you bend the little tabs over, and you have your glass, all right, you know, in the front here. But you can actually cover this with canvas. Now, this is, this frame, just to give you an idea, all right, this is a six by eight frame, six inches by eight inches, all right? So what I would do in this case, we know a five by seven isn't going to fit, all right? As you can see, I don't know if you can see, the five by seven just covers the opening of the frame, but it does not allow us to go around and staple it to the back. So what you would do, ladies, is you get the eight by 10 for the six by eight, the five by seven frame. And here's why, I'm gonna show you, all right? When you affix, when you put your canvas, and I have the light behind me from the window, so you can see the frame through the canvas, see? You can see that I have an edging, okay? Which means that when I take an eight by 10 canvas, and keep in mind, you know, you want to use your print area. Make sure your print area is here with a little bit extra bleed because you want the extra bleed. So if you're going around the edge of the frame and you don't want it to be that white canvas material, your color, you know, will cover that thing, uh, you know, will cover the edge. So as I come around the edge, I still have material to come around the back and I can staple it. And I'm going to show you that in a few minutes. So it's very important that you figure out, you know, your printable area for the frame that you're putting the canvas on. And then you're going to want to take, you know, a ruler and just basically, you know, when you go to print your image, you want to add what the thickness is on the side of the frame and what the, you know, the uh, width is on the back leg of the frame. So, you know, you have enough. So when you print, you can make that image. So when you print and, and go to assemble it to the frame, it wraps around and you don't have that white border showing, all right? To give you an example, our biggest sellers have been the 12 by 16 frame that I showed you in that bundle. This is a Google image. This is that very famous artist, I'm sorry, forgive me, I can't remember his name, all right? But this piece of canvas was 16 by 20, and it fit beautifully on a 12 by 16 frame, okay? And if you look at the sides, you could see that the bleed covered the sides. When it wrapped around to the back, it was just perfect. And what I did is I stapled, stapled, stapled over the other canvas, but you don't staple on top of the staple that's originally there. Go to the side of it so you have no interference. But that's what happens. And then it allows me, whether it's a um, horizontal picture um, or a vertical picture, I should say landscape or vertical, then I can determine where to set my, you know, frame holder. In this case, you know, the customers wanted that brown twine. But of course, you can get your picture hangers. You can do whatever you want. All right. This was another one I did. Now, this is, again, a 9 by 16 vertical using a 16 by 20 canvas. And again, the sides, you can hardly see it, but it's yellow because the background in this picture is yellow, but it goes around so you have the yellow sides, not the white canvas. I'm a Batman fan. There's the Joker. Beautiful. Now, there's a Google image. I'll be the first one to admit it. All right. But again, and you can see how it stapled in the back. My grandchildren, two of six grandchildren. All right. There's Luke and Lily. Now, this is a photograph that, you know, from my daughter's Facebook. 
And again, you allow for the bleed so you have a perfect, perfect, um, you know, wrap around on the canvas and you don't have that, you know, ugly white, it's not an ugly white, but that white showing. If it's on, on the bottom of the frame, you know, where, you know, it's mounted up on a wall, nobody's going to see it, that's fine too, all right? But the important part is remembering to size your canvas correctly so you're not, you know, wasting um, canvas, all right? Or you're not wasting time. The canvas, a lot of people think they can cut the canvas. If they have a 16 by 20, they can cut a, you know, a bunch of, let's say, 5 by 7s. I'm just making up a number. I don't recommend it. The reason being is if you go to cut our canvas, because when our canvas is created for us, the sides are sealed. If you cut it with a scissor, it will fray, and it's going to be horrible, okay? So to sublimate the canvas, very simple. You got a 15 by 15 heat press, a 16 by 20 heat press. Keep in mind the size of your canvas. If you have a 16 by 20 print you're doing, you cannot do it on a 15 by 15 um, canvas, okay? So, uh, I'm sorry, 15 by 15 press. So, when you're doing the canvas, when you're pressing it, you will sublimate it using your sublimation printer, using whatever software, you know, that you, you know, feed your image through. And it's really simple. When we send out Canvas to customers, we give them a little cheat sheet. It's really, really self-explanatory. You're going to pre-press the canvas for five seconds only just to remove any moisture and smooth it out. Because like I said, I, before I took the, here's the five by seven. When you put it on the press for five seconds, it's smooth as a baby's bottom, all right? You'll place a mirrored image on the canvas. You can take down the sides if you want, all right? Put your paper first on your bottom of your press, canvas, image upside down, mirrored, tape it if you want, whatever, or you can tack spray, and put your paper on top. You'll press medium pressure, 400 degrees, 60 seconds. That's it. Peel, okay? You're going to wind up with beautiful images. Here's a 16 by 20 canvas, all right? And I'm going to bring this up a little bit if I can. This was an experiment I did yesterday, all right? This is Caesar white glitter vinyl with a sublimated image on top of it, all right? So yes, you can white glitter the canvas and put a sublimation image on top of it, all right? So, and if you notice the edges... It's not perfect because I was doing this as a test. So what I was trying to prove was it could be done, which made us really, really happy, okay? About a week or two ago, I um, put up an image uh, in the group, and uh, there were several images, and I said, listen, for the Facebook Live, this is what I want to, um, what do you call it, uh, make for you girls, because I'm going to show you how to make this frame uh, because like I said, from printing it, pressing it, putting it on a canvas frame, 15 minutes. If it even takes that long. Once you get used to it, you'll be whipping through it like crazy. So you girls basically voted by liking, commenting, and everything else. The winner we chose, or you guys chose, was this one. Now this is a 16 by 20 canvas, okay? So we're going to be making that in about a minute, okay? What I wanted to let you girls know also is there's a couple more things you could do with the canvas. One of the things we're going to make available to you girls is canvas in, in different shapes, all right? And it's basically going to be limited. Besides our rectangular and square and all of that stuff, we have the round canvas. Now, this one is eight inches in diameter. Again, I'm a Star Trek fan. That's Khan from Star Trek II. So, but what I did is... You girls are familiar with these wooden rings, you know, from Hobby Lobby, Michael's Crafts, and everything else. You unscrew it, the outer ring comes off. With a circular shape, we did this. That's canvas. And then you just put it up on the wall. We took it a step further. 
we wanted to know if this would work. I knew it would, but I had to see for myself. Go to Dollar Tree, girls. You really want to experiment? Go to Dollar Tree. Freaking store is fantastic as far as buying things that you can sublimate with on, I mean, uh, put vinyl on. I mean, you can go in there and buy all these beautiful wine glasses for a buck and vinyl the hell out of them, okay? Uh, you can go in there, um, be, you know, from aprons to oven mitts to, to gloves to dish towels to doilies, all 100% polyester, you can sublimate on them because sublimation works excellent with polyester, all right? So we go to Dollar Tree and I bought two frames. One was five by seven, one was eight by 10. Now these are picture frames. These are the ones, you know, with the little metal edges, the glass in the front, the cardboard back with the easel, you unhook it, you take out the picture of that model husband and wife and put in your own picture, all right? Then you don't like it and then you put the picture back and just put it up on the wall anyway. <laughs> so here's what we did. Here's a five by seven. That's a canvas print. I'm a science fiction fan, that's Predator. But that's a canvas print. And that fit perfectly in the five by seven frame. Okay? The 50s pinup girl, that is a canvas print. It is beautiful. I'm gonna bring it up there a little bit closer. You can see the detail. This is a five, uh, this is an eight by 11 or an eight by 10 frame with a canvas print inside of it. So the possibilities are endless, what you can do with our canvas, okay? So, all right, the only tool you're going to need, besides, of course, a heat press and an Epson, or an Epson, a sublimation printer, whether it's Epson or Sawgrass, it doesn't matter, okay? Here it is. Get yourself a staple gun. All right, Michael's had these for $5.99 or $7.99. Get yourself an extra box of staples because it comes with a little sample, you know, of staples. It's a nice heavy-duty staple gun, inexpensive, Home Depot, Lowe's, True Value, Michael's Crafts, Hobby Lobby. It doesn't matter, but this is what framers are using when they do canvas, you know, to staple the uh, canvas on, okay? So... Here is, oops, wrong one, sorry about that. My fault, my fault, give me a second. I want to get um, a 9 by 12. I should have had this opened already, sorry about that. Okay, this is out of our bundle pack that we got at Michael's for 10 bucks. I saved 10 bucks. I love when I save 10 bucks. My wife loves it too. That means she has extra money for her bottle of rum when she goes to the store. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Here's a 9 by um, 12. Uh, 9, by, uh, 9 by 12 or 9 by 16? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. A 12 by 16 frame. Okay? So, what we're going to do is we are going to put together, and I hope you guys can see this, so I'm going to um, bring it up to you if I have to, all right? So, we've got the print, okay? There's my 16 by 20 canvas that I'm putting onto a 12 by 16 frame, all right? And you'll see why. So, I'm gonna lay the image down. Now, this is a vertical image, so of course my frame is going to be upright or vertical, whatever word you want to use, okay? So you center the picture frame on the back of the canvas, and you're going to be able to see the image through the back of the canvas. You know, it's, it's, it's pretty good, okay? So from there, you can basically eyeball it and make sure it's centered. Now, I take, I hope you can see this, I take the top part, and grab it, you know, hold it down with my thumb. I fold up the bottom part, and then I go like this, just to get an idea of how the canvas is going to wrap around the frame, okay? So, and from there, you can also determine if you need to adjust the frame a little bit so the wraparound is even on all four sides, okay? I had to do a slight adjustment, 
I'll fold up the two ends and pinch it. See, I'm pinching it so I could see it, okay? Now, I'm pretty confident because I've done this many times, all right? So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your staple gun. You're going to want to hold the top folded canvas and put in a staple in the center of the frame. Go back to the bottom and pull it, and you'll see the, the edging, and put one in the center. So here's what I did, girls, and guys, if there's a guy watching, I apologize, all right? So right now, I have a staple here in the center, I then grabbed the bottom and pulled it to make it tight from the top, all right? So there's, you can feel like a slight bounce in the front, all right? And you put one in the center. The two sides are still not stapled. So now you choose. You're going to pull on the one side. In this case, I'm pulling on the left side. Pop in a staple. Switch to the middle of the other side. Pop in a staple. Okay, so here's what you're looking at. Staple, 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 staple. Okay, and you see the corners? They look like little rabbit ears or bear ears. Okay, now what you're going to do is now you can see the picture is pretty well centered. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. There's what the corners look like. And then I'll show you how to do the corners, because that's, I thought it was tricky, but it's not. It's really simple, okay? Now, going back to the top, I'm going to back to the top, and I'm going to pull on this side nice and tight, pop in a staple, turn the frame, pick the left side of the middle staple, Pop in a staple. Turn the frame. It's just like when you're changing a tire, you do the one bolt, then you go over here and do the other bolt, then over here, do the other bolt, do the other bolt. So, again, to the left side of the staple, of the original staple, pop it in, turn the frame, pop it in. The canvas is getting tighter. Now I've just put in, here's my original, I went to the left, turned it, went to the left, turned it, went to the left, you know, turned it, went to the left, popped in staple, okay? Now, you're going to put in four more staples, you're now going to go to the other side, the right side of the original staple, all right? And you want to space them, one, two, three. You're not going to be, you're going to be right near the corner, but not on top of it. I'm going to show you what to do with the corner. So let me finish. I'm going to turn the frame, pull the canvas. Make sure you pull the canvas. All right. There is no specific way, you know, for the staple. Does it have to be up and down, left to right, whatever. You do whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay. That's up to you. Okay. I now have, I mean, it's, it automatically is tightening as I pull on it to staple the canvas down. Do you see what you're seeing here, ladies? There is no getting that stupid canvas tool that you see everybody talking about in YouTube videos. Oh, you need a canvas pulling tool to pull the canvas. No, you don't. You see, this is sublimation canvas polyester. It's unlike the canvas that you have to buy in stores that you need a tool for. That's for painting. Because you have to stretch that canvas. This canvas is already stretched and, it, and it'll stretch itself, all right, which is awesome. So, again, simple tool. What you need is a ruler and a staple gun, okay? Now, the corners. The corners. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come up to the camera so I can show you what I'm talking about, okay? By the time you get done, see how I did the staples? There's the original one. Then I did the one to the left. Then I do the one to the right. You know, this is after I turn each frame. I'm doing it in a rotating basis so I can pull and, and, and tighten, okay? 
you're left with this. You see the corner? You're left with the corner. Now watch this, okay? I'm gonna try to do this. You're gonna spread it a little bit. You're gonna pull the triangle of the point in. Hopefully you can see that. Grab this. Do you see that? Do you see that? Now. I just stapled the one folded corner. I'm gonna take the other corner and look, it automatically becomes a beautiful folded corner. There you go, ladies. There you go. I mean, it's, it's just awesome. <laughs> It's just awesome. Now, you can do the same with the other corners. Let me come back around to the front. You do the same with the other corners. You grab the point of the triangle, stretch it over the corner of the frame, fold the one of the panel sides over, staple. Pull the second corner of that same corner of the flap, staple. Let me finish up the last two corners, and then I'll show you the finished product, okay? Then we're going to discuss one more thing, and then I'm going to take your questions, okay? So, you do the third corner. I'm doing the third corner. And I don't know if anybody's been counting. By the time you're done, you should have done this all together from print to stapling to a completed product in 15 minutes or less. And you want to know something else? <laughs> if you do this the right way, you used approximately 30 staples. That's it, okay? I'm gonna show you the finish. And there she is. There she is. This is a beautiful, tight, as you can see, Completed 12 by 16 canvas print. Beautiful. There's my canvas. There's Michael's canvas. Okay. So, to recap, you pre-press the canvas five seconds. Put your paper down on the bottom of your press. Canvas. Image. Mirrored upside down, tape it, spray tack it, whatever you want to do. 400 degrees, 60 seconds, medium pressure, you press, lift it up at the buzzer, take the butcher paper off, take the image off, and you have a beautiful piece of sublimated canvas, okay? Here's what I'm gonna do for the group, and, and I've already shared it with Cecile, and. You girls were made aware of it, so I'm going to just remind you one more time. Um, I'm running a promotion on the website for this group, okay? Here's what I'm doing. You go to my website, www.acesdeals.net. Type in the word canvas. You'll find the canvas. When you order the canvas at checkout, if you remember, and you've got to remember because there's nothing I can do about it afterwards, all right? And I made life really simple. Go to my website, search for Canvas, look at the different sizes, figure out what you want. In the, coup in the checkout, there's a coupon code box. Whether it's capital letters, small letters, it does not matter. That's how easy I made it. If you put in B-O-G-O, -O, BOGO, which stands for buy one, get one free. Starting right this minute till Wednesday, 5 p.m. New York time. So you've got three days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, three and a half, whatever, okay? Put in the coupon code BOGO. It's buy one, get one free. If let's say you order five sheets of eight by 10, you're gonna get 10 sheets of eight by 10. 
You buy one sheet of 5 by 7 one sheet of 8 by 10 one sheet of 11 14 one sheet of 16 by 20 You're going to get it doubled for each size that you ordered, okay? That's something I wanted to do for you girls as a thank you for letting me come on your group here and, and do this. And I just want to reiterate very quickly, I'm here in my office six days a week. If for some reason I don't answer the phone or somebody on my staff does not answer the phone, that means our other four lines were on them. Leave a message. Hey, Peter, it's Lakeisha. Hey, Peter, it's Cecil. You know, give me a call back at, you know, 732 blah, blah, blah. I promise you I will call you back within 30 minutes, within the hour, whatever, okay? I'm able to assist you, answer any questions you may have about anything. I don't care if you're not buying something from me. Please understand that. If you have a, a question about a, a, a printer that you did not buy from me or a heat press you did not buy from me, please do not feel you can call me. I'm here to help you guys. I could have retired five years ago. I didn't want to. I'm here to help you guys, okay? So make sure you give me a call at 631-730-7228. Now, there is a coupon code I did assign to not only my group, certain website customers of mine, but for you girls, anytime you go shopping at my website, whatever you buy, whenever you buy it, I don't care what it is, paper, keychains, a heat press, a mug press, it doesn't matter. If you type in this coupon code, write this down, and by the way, you can't use two coupon codes at one time, the website won't let you, all right? And the buy one, get one free is only for the canvas. It won't let you buy one, get one free on anything else, okay? So don't try to kill yourselves. <laughs> anyway, the coupon code that I've assigned to you girls permanently that you can use, it does not expire. You can use it on whatever you want, whenever you want. In small letters, ACE, A-C-E, 511. All together, one word, small letters. You can use it anytime you want, whatever you want, no questions asked, okay? So, that's it. I hope I covered everything. I hope I was able to teach you a little bit, and there'll be other tutorials in the future if, if the girls will let me. I'm kidding. Anyway, so... Questions. We're going to, what, take maybe five more minutes, whatever. Um, and let's see. I, let's, I'm going to take a look. My gosh, everybody is, there's a lot of people we're watching, okay? So, uh, Katie Kinsey, I love that image. Thank you very much. Mila Williams, how are you, darling? <laughs> I love Mila. Mila, Mila. Tiffany Martin, can't wait to get hers. Yeah, Tiffany, you should have had it already by, I guess, I figured by, hopefully today. All right, so, um, what do you call it? Rhonda Riley, how are you? Okay, Leisha Weekend, hello, Jennifer Santos, welcome. Florence Hen Anderson, Sims, I almost said Florence Henderson, I thought I was watching the Brady Bunch, sorry. Linda, Linda Quinlan Canning is watching. Linda, how are you? Linda's one of my Canadian customers. I've spoken to her on the phone many times. Helped her through a lot of issues. Linda, it was a pleasure to see you here all the way from Canada. So, um, let's see if there's anybody have any questions. Yvette Houston, welcome. Natasha Starks, I don't want to skip anybody. Tom Moore. Um, Shaniva, Shaniva Bland, how are you? I think you're one of the administrators. Thank you for letting me do this show today. Um, Antoinette Joyce Howen Bucknor, that's a long name, Antoinette, but I love it. Barbara Benjamin, hello to you too, all right? So, um, before we close up, all right, Rhonda, Riley, Finney, Rhonda, thank you, thank you, all right? I keep telling my wife the same thing. She does not agree with me. What can you do? I'll let her know what you said. <laughs> so, Gifted Angel, no, thank you for taking the time to watch, all right? So... Um, Mila Williams, it's um, small letters, ACE 511, okay? So, uh, Jackie Lopez, how are you? Jackie, we're actually based in New York City. Um, I live in Patchog, okay? Um, but we are completely web-based. I closed my store, ooh, eight, ten years ago. And I'll tell you why. I got 66,000 customers in our database. That's not counting 4,000 members in Sublimation Central, all right? Um, 
we became completely web-based. It brought the cost down for people, so they're able to purchase stuff from our warehouses at a cheaper price. So, but if you're ever in the area, call me. I'll we'll meet for lunch. I'll even pay for it. <laughs> so, all right. Um, could we order a little bit bigger to stretch it, Julie? Could we order a little bit bigger to stretch it? You can order a custom size, but that you would have to call me to ask me, you know, I mean, to tell me what size you're looking for so we can correctly, you know, quote you a price. It won't be crazy, I promise you that, because I'm dealing direct with the manufacturer, okay? So, um, <clears throat> Nichelle Hammock, thank you, Peter, for doing this. No, thank you. I, I, I love doing this. This is what I love to do. I live to do this. So, um, any other questions, lady? All right. Uh, ladies, I mean... So, Pierre Chapman, did you just join us? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm watching a delay on a different screen. So, but hello, Pierre. So, Jackie, thank you. All right. Uh, Wendy Brown Carter. So, I would like to, for those of you that are not part of it, I would like to invite you girls to please um, submit a request to join our group. Please check out Sublimation Central, the one of the fastest growing groups on Facebook. What I did three months ago uh, was unheard of. I, I um, merged vinyl people with sublimation people in one shop. Beginners, intermediate, advanced people. I don't allow drama, just like this group. There's no drama. There's no Facebook police. I don't tolerate it. This is why when you look at this group and Sublimation Central, the creativity that's being unleashed by you girls is mind-boggling. It's It blows my mind. It, like I said in the very beginning of this broadcast, proud as hell to be a, rubbing my shoulders with some of these people that are literally blowing me away. I've never done half of the stuff you girls are doing, and I thank you. I want to send a special thank you out to Cecil. Uh, Cecil. Okay, Cecil, you got me freaking doing tiles now with the alcohol ink. My wife's like, what is that? I'll, I said, it's alcohol ink. She goes, can I drink it? I said, no, honey, you can't drink it. I'm kidding. Anyway, Cecil, thank you. I mean, I'm starting to make tiles. My daughter-in-law wants some now, you know, and I charge family. I don't care. Business is separate. <laughs> so, but anyway, thank you very much, everybody. Um, let me just, the last thing. Um, um. Mrs. Shell Ferner, I want to start back. Yep, definitely watch the show. You're going to love it. All right. Um, and that's it. So, all right, listen. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, it was a pleasure. If you guys need anything, get a hold of me. Call me. Uh, you know, don't get me wrong. I don't mind PMs, all right, or emails. I love talking on the phone. It's easier for me to help you guys. So, have a great Sunday. God bless. God bless. This group, God bless Sublimation Central. God bless each and every single one of you, all right? And live long and prosper. <laughs>